Welcome to the Cambridge Financial Podcast with Bert Salazar, CEO at Cambridge Financial Partners, LLC. This podcast is all about tax-preferred retirement planning, economics, financial risk management, and achieving a risk-free and successful financial life. Now, your host, Bert Salazar. Bert Salazar. Bert Salazar. Hey, welcome everyone. Have a good day to all of you. Welcome to another financial podcast by Cambridge Financial Partners. Um, Obviously, this is a tough week for us because we have a potential hurricane. Uh, Hurricane Irma is heading west uh, towards South Florida, so we're all watching and getting ready and preparing. So we're hoping for the very best along those lines. Uh, Nevertheless, I thought it would be important uh, for us to have a discussion today today on how to create a tax-free retirement life. Uh, retirement life. Uh, I do webinars on a regular basis concerning um, uh, this issue and many other issues, but this one is very critical because although there are a number of critical issues in retirement and income distribution planning, no issue is greater than the nemesis of taxation you know, facing Americans today or in the future. Uh, this podcast will identify and address the issues of retirement taxation and how to safeguard all income assets from tax erosion throughout the three decumulation stages of life. Uh, We break down retirement into three stages, usually about 10 years per stage. Uh, We have the go-go years, so traditionally people that retire in the mid-60s, you know, are going to be fairly healthy. They want to do more things in retirement than, than they ever did before. They may be spending as much money uh, during the go-go years, which are between the ages of 65 and 75, uh, and and they're going to be trying to live their life as much as possible. Once they hit into into their mid-70s to their mid-80s is what we friendly call uh, not the go-go years, but the slow-go years. Uh, People start to slow down. You know, health-wise, things may not be as, as good as they were. Uh, in previous uh, years. Uh, Families want to stay closer to home, uh, so they're not traveling as much and they're not spending as much much money. Now, once these families get into the uh, mid-80s, and we cover that as the uh, no-go years, so we have the go-go years, the slow-go years, and the no-go years, uh, most of the families, once they get into the mid-80s, their health is not going to be the same as it was in the previous uh, 20 years, uh, although they may live a very long life. Uh, so it is critically important that we do proper planning along those lines. Now, an issue that is very important is that the investments, assets, and distribution rates that you have in place uh, for your, for the go-go years are, should be different than the ones for the slow-go years and the no-go years. Now, some of the distribution rates uh, should be the same based on the type of planning that you do at certain levels, but obviously uh, when you have 30 years uh, to go, you're going to be a little bit more aggressive in your investments in order to maximize your, your return. Now, our, our firm specializes in creating tax-free retirement plans, and we do that for qualified clients in, in our practice. Um, more importantly, we're one of the very few firms in South Florida that, that truly addresses uh, retirement income from a risk uh, in, tax ma- in tax management perspective. Now, as an economics uh, advisor, I don't advocate or give any expert advice on tax matters, but we do depend on our affiliated tax partners for assistance you know, in all of these areas uh, along those lines. Now, taxation and retirement can make or break a retirement plan success, and it does so for many Americans uh, today. Uh, Most of the clients that I encounter um, probably have the majority of their assets in either taxable or tax defer accounts. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of Edslot, but Edslot is a famous uh, CPA in the U.S., and, and he uh, has a statement that is very critical and very true. He says that if you, have to, if you have taxable assets, you have a problem. And the problem is that you have assets that are forever taxed, 
as opposed to never taxed. Now, Ed Slot, obviously being a CPA and accountant, you know, truly understands the difference between making money and building wealth. Now, along the way, obviously, these same clients that, are, that I deal with on a regular basis are working hard, you know, to have their mortgages paid off and to hopefully live in a debt-free society. Uh, one of the major questions that I ask my clients when they first uh, come to see me is, you know, during retirement, what percentage of their income would they like to have taxed? Now, if the answer is 100%, and if you feel on this podcast that you want 100% of your income to be taxed, then you might as well stop listening to the podcast at this point in time. Now, if not, uh, you're going to find in the next um, uh, several minutes uh, some interesting concepts and f- uh, concepts and fascinating ideas. Now, additionally, uh, I believe you will realize that most of your financial advisors have never discussed and or planned your financial future from an economic perspective while performing uh, what I call deep dive tax planning on your behalf. Uh, obviously, all of us on this podcast uh, deserve um, better than that. Now, in everything that we do at Cambridge, uh, we have a set of beliefs. Uh, we believe in, in, challenge, in challenging our clients in areas of, you know, wealth accumulation and wealth is distribution strategies. You know, we're trying to move away from, you know, the basics of planning that very seldom works. We also believe in creating cash flow income that is exempt from the IRS code. We believe in creating a process whereby our clients pay taxes on their money only once. And we believe in creating maximum protection for life, uh, income, and and assets. Now, you would ask yourself, well, how do we do that? Well, simply, we do it by utilizing the IRS code to its maximum potential. Uh, We do it by using products that are afforded the highest levels of tax benefits, Under the 74,000 plus pages of the IRS code, yes, you heard that right, 74,000 plus pages uh, in the IRS code of the United States. And we do so by creating economic straddles that help our clients in maximizing income and assets while minimizing and or avoiding potential tax liabilities uh, in retirement. Now, At Cambridge, uh, we follow the same premises and understanding as the famous, you know, Marcus Limonis. Uh, For us, it's all about people, process, and product. But although all three are critically important, uh, we believe that the process supersedes the other two. The reason is simple yet quite complex. You know, the right people and the right product will not generate true measure of success if the process is flawed. Yet, the wrong people and the wrong product will create true measure success regardless of people and product as long as the process is flawless. Uh, And that's something that we pay a lot of attention to. Now, the Tiger Woods uh, story is one that I try to use with my clients all the time. And in this one, I normally ask my clients that back in the day when Tiger Woods was on top of the world, uh, at least in, in the golfing world, Uh, If someone asked you uh, a question that would, you know, give you the the ability to choose one or the other, which which one would you choose? And the question was always around, well, would you rather use Tiger Woods, would you rather have Tiger Woods clubs, or would you rather have Tiger Woods swing? Now, as good as Tiger Woods was, um, most of us on this call would more than likely, and on this podcast, would choose his swing uh, 100% of the time. And the reason is simple. If you have the swing, which is the process of golfing, and you know how to manage the game, there's a high probability you're going to be successful regardless of the type of uh, golf clubs uh, you're going to be using. Now, uh, one of the things I want to talk about is, you know, how do we forecast a future taxation in the United States? And as many Americans are gearing up for retirement and longevity planning today, I think the U.S. economic challenges will play a major role in whether these Americans will reach and or attain a comfortable retirement in the foreseeable future. Now, let's look at some basic information that most of us would more than likely uh, know just by listening to the, to the news 
or reading uh, financial articles. For example, the um, U.S. national debt um, is currently at $19 trillion and, and counting. Uh, in 2015, the U.S. spent $223 billion, or 6% of the federal budget, paying interest on the federal debt. That's an enormous number. Now, according to the Social Security Board of Trustees, uh, Social Security will become insolvent by the year 2033, unless Congress uh, decides to do something about it. And I think we have a very clear understanding what it takes and how long it takes for, for Congress to make a decision on anything uh, that, they, that they do. Um, in addition to that, uh, Social Security issues and concerns in the, in the 21st century, uh, we also need to add Medicare, Medicaid issues uh, are critically much worse from a business standpoint. Um, the unfunded liabilities, uh, at least in, in 2016, for 2016, for Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, um, Medicare Part D, and, and I'm excluding Obamacare, exceeded $100 trillion. Now, if you go online, there's a great website that I use. It's called the usdebtclock.org, and it shows that each taxpaying American owes the government uh, just north of $161,000 today, and, and that would be just to cover the national debt. On the other hand, uh, each taxpaying American owes the government uh, just north of $858,000 today to be able to cover the unfunded liabilities uh, that we previously discussed. Now, David Walker... Uh, who is the Comptroller General of the United States and the former head of the General Accountability Office, uh, GAO office. Pretty much David Walker was the CPA for the U.S. government. Uh, stated uh, 10 years ago that based on current fiscal path and economic policy, future taxes will have to double or our country will go financially bankrupt. Uh, now, obviously, we're trying to do some tax planning in the U.S. Uh, one of the major promises that uh, President Trump made uh, during the campaign was that he was going to do tax reform. Now, because of the fact that there's so much political upheaval taking place uh, in the United States today, the probability that a tax reform is going to come through is going to be slim to none. Now, there may be some tax breaks, and uh, there may be some tax benefits provided by this administration, but it will only, um, it will only be temporary from, from a business standpoint. If you do it through the Budget Reconciliation Act, it can only be done for 10 years. So although we may be receiving certain tax breaks uh, now and in the next 10 years, in year 11, Whomever happens to be in power can make a decision as to where they want taxes uh, to be at at that point in time. And then uh, it could either uh, increase, go back to the old rules, or a lot of stuff can happen that we very seldom have any control over. Now, one of the top of, uh, one of, the top of things that I do for my clients on a, on a regular basis is uh, tax planning. And obviously, you know, all Americans have the ability to have what we know as deductions, exemptions, and, and, and credits. Uh, and, and obviously, most of the clients that we engage in our firm, you know, have done a fairly good job in maximizing their, their annual deductions. Um, yet by doing so, they have also created a number of other booby traps uh, that will surface somewhere in the future and, and, and will prove devastating to their wealth building planning capabilities. Now, when it comes to tax-free income in retirement, you know, obviously we have to keep track of where the U.S. is going to go along those lines. Now, the future of taxation in the U.S. is, is pretty quite bleak and uncertain based on the data that I have just provided to you. As a matter of fact, the U.S. debt is increasing by approximately $2.5 billion daily, and there's no relief uh, in sight in the foreseeable future. Now, therefore, the ability to manage, you know, taxation and retirement is more prevalent today than at any other time in our history. Yes, you know, as a country, uh, we're living in the third lowest tax assessment.